I'm Gail. I'm rehearsing for, for Glenda. Glenda is a reply to the DFC group. When I was in college, my roommate and I were always broke. We literally had nothing at times, but I promised myself I'd never do anything humiliating just to get cash. I made that decision because I saw what being broke was doing to some of other females on campus. They were literally demeaning themselves for money. I won't explain all the things these women were doing on campus. They were literally demeaning. I, I won't explain it. The behavior was in vain, if you ask me. My roommate started out having the same determination as me. However, she finally gave in and started to work at this gentleman's establishment. But one night, she was making three times that I was making in a week. To her, it just seemed like a no-brainer. But I just couldn't give in. I wanted to keep my integrity. However, two things happened towards the time I was due to graduate. That changed everything. In fact, these two things sent me in a state of depression. First, my boyfriend of three years broke up with me. During our time together, I sent him a ton of nude pictures of myself. He treasured these while we were together, but he violated my trust in the overall unwritten code of ethics after we split up by showing the pics to his friends. Some of his friends were also my friends. The worst part of it, it wasn't even the pictures. It was a video he made together. The video was very explicit, and by him showing it, just like over again, overnight, I just became a porn star. It was so embarrassing for my friends to see me that way. That was enough to set me in a deeper depression. But to me, really add insult to the injury. I started my internship at a local medical office of a urologist. My job entailed collecting pa patient samples, preparing patients for patients for hernias. Sounds simple enough, but I actually meant was at least once or twice per day I was coming to contact with a penis. Almost every male patient showed me this scrotum. Also men who said they were experiencing some of the testicular pain were required to get a rudimentary hernia exam which meant I had to fail on their scrotum abnormalities. I tried never to touch their penis, but something you just can't help it. The penis sometimes has a mind of their own. It will land back in your hand or in your forearm. That alone was kind of humiliating. What sent me over the edge, however, was one week into it with examining one man. I was looking away from him feeling the scrotum for abnormalities, and I feel something kind of hitting my forearm. Right after that, I felt liquid. When I looked, it was his penis. Not only had gained an erection, but small amounts of was leaking from his penis and landing on his forearm. And it went my forearm. I was hardly annoyed, but I couldn't react because we trained. Sometimes erections are involuntary. After I finished the exam, I rushed to the bathroom, wiped off the sperm on my flesh. And after the doctor finishes with him, about a half hour later, the same guy hands me a cup of his urine as a sample. When he does, he has a smug look on his face, as though he was, he, he was a terrible a job. And all of us thinking to myself, how is this not humiliating? Some of these things my friends were doing for cash. So with that, I, I kind of fell further into a deep depression. I felt that I was a loser, and I unwittingly compromised my morals. Doing to unwittingly, actually, I felt worse than I had just made the choice of my own to do so. What are you doing? It took a couple of months, but eventually I got over it. The lesson I learned from all this, however, you just can't judge another person. You don't know why are they doing something, and frankly, everything we do or don't revolves around circumstances. 
circumstances quite literally can justify everything.